You have heard a lot of complaints about delays surrounding federal tax returns and stimulus payments, but the story you are about to hear is on another level. An Indianapolis couple says the federal government owes them more than $10,000. Charles and Elisa Morgan reached out to WRTV Investigates Kara Kenny for help in getting their money and sanity back. For Charles and Elisa Morgan of Rocky Ripple, making ends meet during this pandemic has not been easy. A big chunk of our yeah. income got was gone. Was, yeah, it was gone. Um, so it definitely, there were some, you know, rough patches last year. Adding to their stress, the couple says they're still waiting on both their 2019 and 2020 tax refunds, even though they filed electronically. They have found it difficult to get through to the IRS. And when they do reach a live person. They've given us no more information than what the IRS website gives us, which is a pretty generic your tax refund is still being processed. A refund date will be provided when available. I remember it. I remember it because <laughs> I was checking like every day for months and months and months. And that's not all they're missing. Two stimulus payments have not arrived. Plus, Charles and Elisa have a daughter together and are due their child tax credit. The Morgans say the federal government owes them a chunk of change. Right over $10,000. $10,000, what does that mean to you guys? It, it's a new car that we've been needing, you know, it, it's things that that we could really, um, that we really need uh, around the house. Some people are going to be like, well, what is going on that you've had this much bad luck? We haven't had any like major life changes. WRTV Investigates connected the Morgans with the Taxpayer Advocate Service, an independent organization within the IRS that helps resolve problems. A representative told us the service is assisting the Morgans and apologized for their inconvenience. The Morgans are not alone. A taxpayer advocate report released this summer shows the IRS still has a backlog of more than 35 million tax returns that require manual processing. It also found only 3% of callers were able to get through to an IRS representative on the phone. The IRS has been plagued with delays due to a backlog of unprocessed 2019 paper returns, congressional mandates like stimulus checks and tax credits, limited resources and technology issues at the IRS. The IRS says it is working hard to get through the backlog. You may see a delay if there's an error on your return. You're claiming the earned income tax credit or additional child tax credit, or there's possible fraud or identity theft on your account. The Morgans say they did apply for that earned income tax credit, but it's unclear if that's what's causing the delay. Just to not know it is, is, is just, yeah. <laughs> it's so frustrating and stressful and, and just to get some answers. That's all we've asked. If the, you know, if we can't get the money right away, that's fine. We just want to know. Working for you, Kara Kenny, WRTV. The IRS says the best thing you can do is not call the IRS or file a second tax return. That only adds to the backlog. If you get a letter in the mail, make sure to respond. That is the primary way the Internal Revenue Service will try to communicate with you.